Hey everyone, it's Ben from Living Survival and today we're gonna to take a look at an ultra budget hammock system. So since I myself go hammock camping a lot and I've done several different hammock videos throughout the last couple years, a major question that I get asked is what should I buy for a hammock system? Now there's several different ways to address that. One would be go all out, get a great hammock system that is going to last, that's gonna be high quality, that's gonna be comfortable, or maybe you're just starting out, you don't wanna invest a whole bunch of money, maybe you just want a hammock system for you know a bug out bag or survival kit and you don't wanna spend a whole lot of money on it. So probably my most expensive system is from Warbonnet. I've shown that setup. I have a new setup from Simply Light Designs, their trail layer hammock which I absolutely love. There will be a review coming up soon on that. And then just recently I posted a complete setup with uh, hammock and tarp and everything that you need from Thermarest. And that was a fairly budget system coming in right around $199 for everything you need. So I wanted to address a ultra budget hammock system. Maybe you already have your own tarp and you just need the hammock and straps. Maybe, like I said, you're just starting out and just wanna get something to get the feel of it. Uh, maybe, again, you want something just for a bug out bag and survival kit. So I went back to one of my previous videos where I reviewed a ultra budget hammock from Explore Outdoors. And I looked and got in contact with them and they actually have a new uh, double hammock. It's a camouflage hammock and they have new straps that they've updated. They're real similar to some of the other nylon straps that are out on the market. But this whole system costs $28, $37 if you get the camel. But if you don't care about the camouflage color, you can get into this hammock and strap system for $28. Now when it comes to these ultra affordable hammocks on Amazon, there are hundreds of different brand name hammocks that all seem really similar and they are for for the most part they are very similar with their construction uh, several of them have different suspension systems but again i went back i really like the explore outfitters one that i did a, a year or two ago so that's what i'm going to show you today an update of that version and again ultra affordable so what you're going to get again for 37 dollars for the camo or 28 for the non-camo is you're gonna get their lightweight hammock, a double hammock, and you're also gonna get a set of their nylon tree straps. Everything that you need to set up and test a hammock out for yourself, again, if you have your own tarp, or you can add a tarp to this combo, you can add quilts to this combo if you need insulation, which is something I recommend. Even in the summer once, you at least want a pad to give you somewhat of an insulated bottom to the hammock. But again, if you're just looking for something to throw in one of your kits, this makes a great setup for that purpose. Fairly unique, this is more of a dry bag design. Uh, it's not a dry bag, but it has the roll top closure, which I found was pretty cool. That makes it so that you can just strap it onto a loop or something on your pack and carry it on the outside if it were to get wet, or if you just don't have enough room on the inside, again, you can strap this to anything and uh, carry it that way, which I thought was pretty cool. And what I did was I weighed this hammock versus some of my more expensive hammocks. Obviously, as you go lighter and you go higher in quality, you are gonna pay a bit more. Hammock wise, this one actually weighs a little bit less than my new setup, the trail layer setup from Simply Light Designs. This weighs in at 20 ounces versus 22 ounces for the trail layer. Now the trail layer has an integrated bug net where this does not. So that's another item that you would need to purchase if you were piecing together a kit. Suspension wise, you lose a little bit in the weight category going with the ultra budget setup here. You have 31 ounces for the straps, the carabiners uh, in this setup versus 10 ounces for my trail layer. So, you know, the trail layer picks up a huge saving there with their suspension system. When you add these both together, you have 51 ounces versus the uh, 32 ounces of my trail layer setup. So again, not the lightest, but ultra, ultra affordable. Nylon tree straps are definitely the way to go. They help protect the tree and don't stretch versus paracord, which really does stretch out when you've been laying in your hammock. You'll wake up lower than when you started. And then this has those adjustable loops. So there's plenty of different spots along the webbing there to clip your hammock. You get a locking carabiner, which you just clip onto the end of the hammock there, making setup super, super simple. So like other similar hammocks, you have a uh, the stuff sack that it folds into also doubles as a little bag that you can put things into. Lengthwise, you're at nine foot, 10 inches. I sleep with an 11 foot hammock. It helps achieve a more diagonal lay. It can be done with these double hammocks. You are gonna have a little bit higher walls on the sides. You always wanna gently test your hammocks the first time you set them up. Again, with the webbing, you're not gonna get a whole lot of stretch. So that is nice and then just go ahead and climb in and I lay diagonally in the hammock so that I can get that nice flat lay. 
As I've said before in other videos, and one thing to note with the shorter hammocks, 9 foot 10 inches, you do need almost a double hammock to achieve that diagonal lay. Now you can achieve it with a longer hammock, such as my trail layer or war bonnet that come in at 11 feet, and then you don't have as much fabric or as high of uh, sides to your hammock. But you're able to achieve the same flat lay in a hammock like this. You have plenty of room to, uh, to move your feet around. I'm not getting a very bad calf ridge, which is something you'll find in some hammocks. The bottom of your calf will really, uh, you know, that, that the hammock fabric coming down from your tree straps will really bite into it. But it is all in how you set up the hammock. You want to get a 35 or so degree angle on your hammock. You really don't want to pull your hammock out tight. You want it to be fairly loose which is another misconception that some people just getting into it have. They think that in order to achieve that flat lay, you really gotta stretch the hammock out, and that's not true. You want it to sag a bunch so that you can have this extra fabric here to really lay diagonally and get that nice flat lay. And every time I get into a hammock, no matter which hammock it is, I just wanna fall asleep. They are so super comfortable, especially with people that might have bad backs or don't like to, uh, to sleep right on the floor. These make a excellent choice. Add a bug net, add some insulation, add a tarp if it's gonna rain, and you're good to go. And again, you can piece the system together with this being part of it at its ultra affordable price. So when it comes to ultra budget hammocks, instead of going out there and sifting through the hundreds and hundreds of different no-name brands out there, I wanted to revisit a company that I've done before on the channel and it didn't disappoint. This hammock is a great hammock for the price, especially when you get those nylon straps, the nylon adjustable straps. And again, if you're just starting out, you want something that you just wanna go out and play around with, or you just wanna build a kit that's not as expensive as some of the other things that are out there, this is a great way to go. Most likely, if you really dig hammock camping and it's something that you wanna to continue to do and really get into, you are gonna upgrade. But again, even if you were to upgrade this system, it'd be a great backup for just an outing in the woods, for example, somebody that you could share hammock camping with and get them a great hammock just to start off with, or again, to put in a bug out bag or survival kit. So I'm definitely gonna leave a link below to Amazon where you guys can pick one of these up. Again, $37 with the camo and the straps or $28 for the non-camo version. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Hope you give it a big thumbs up for me. Make sure you leave me some comments below. Please share this video to your friends and family on your social media. And as always, click subscribe. Subscribe to my channel for more videos.